Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this sign up part of my online shopping project. If you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create a page for login part. So let us start. Let me open the software. Here you can see we already have a login.gsp page. So we are going to create the form in this. Before creating form, first we need to connect this sign up part with login.gsp page. Login.gsp page. Okay. After that, again we are moving to login. Login.gsp page. And here we have to create the form. So form. And in this we have to write action on which page we have to go uh, when we click on submit the form. We have to write that page name in action. After that we have method. Method is equals to post. Okay. And in between tag we have to insert input. We have to we have to take it to input. The first one is for email address email and we also name it as email okay after that a placeholder folder is equals to enter email okay and uh, let's read this and just copy this same line below okay and here we have to write password okay after that we have to write here password and uh, we also need to write enter password okay and one more thing we have to write required okay and in this we also need to write required okay after this we just need to write here input one more input input uh, to submit this form input type submit and the value is login okay let's save this our form has been created okay uh, we have to write submit okay and let's uh, refresh this page and here click on login okay here you can see it moves here and here you can see this is this message is visible not to worry about this we will fix this we will hide and display whenever we required okay so now now we have to create here a jsp page so let's move jsp file and uh, in this we have to write login action okay dot jsp page delete this all code and first two line we are going to copy from sign up action page okay this part and paste it here after that we have to start the tag again okay and in this we have to get the user email and password okay request dot get parameter and here we have to write the exact name which we uh, write there okay otherwise we are not getting a value and that will that will cause issue okay for you request dot get parameter and here we have to write password okay and after this we have to write if condition because we are also login uh, in from same page we are a login for admin as well as users or customer you can say so there is a if condition if here we are hard coding for the admin admin at the rate zmail.com if this dot equals and and we have to write here email and uh, after that and and okay uh, here we have to write and and admin dot equals and here we have to write password okay in this case what we need to do is first thing we have to set the value in the session session dot set attribute basically we are setting the session to use this value in the multiple places 
because uh, email uh, is using for multiple things so we are setting that value in session okay email and here we are also writing the name email okay after this while setting the value in the session we also need to send the response response dot send redirect okay and uh, in this admin dash admin okay and in this admin folder we are moving in admin folder and in admin folder we have to check the page so here you can see admin home dot jsp we have to write exact word okay home dot jsp so it means that whenever anyone enter admin at the rate gmail dot com and the password is admin this will redirect to this page and setting the value to the session okay now it's clear i think for you guys okay after this we have to uh, write the code for the users so z equals to 0 here i am taking a variable i will explain you why we are taking this okay first copy this and uh, exception okay and in the try block uh, we have to write uh, create the connection connection con equals to connection provider dot git con okay after that we have to write the statement st equals to con dot create statement okay after that we have to use result set to search that user exists or not uh, sorry in uh, we have to get uh, details uh, or we will select all the users according to our input and st dot execute query okay in this we are going to write select star from users where email equals to single okay single double plus plus and here we have to write email okay after that we have to write and and after same way we have to write for the password password equals to single double plus plus in between everything we are writing password okay and okay we are getting error because we did not write the semicolon at the end and uh, after this we have to again use while we have to use while while rs dot next okay and in this we have to write response we have to copy this uh, okay leave it uh, response dot send redirect and we have to send uh, this page to home dot gsp page here you can see there is a home dot gsp page already we provided in the code here you can see home dot gsp page is available there so we are sending the response to home dot gsp page whenever uh, we are getting the username and password in table users table okay and before sending the response we also need to send the session session dot uh, set attribute and the same we are going to do here again email email okay and after this uh, before doing this anything we are setting the value z is equals to 1 okay and after that here we are setting a one more condition if z is equal equals to 0 in that case we have to send the response send response right send redirect okay and login dot gsp page now the here is question is why we are using this z is equals to 0 here you can see whenever the user uh, username is not admin dot uh, at the rate gmail dot com then uh, this will not work okay after that if the user does not exist in the user table in that case it will not set the value to 1 it means that the user does not exist in that case it this will work okay so it means that the user does not exist so we need to send the message to the login page so here we have to write assigning the value in message variable and the message is not exist okay with this message 
and let's copy this line and uh, here we need to paste this and here we are sending message invalid if any error occur in that case and we also need to display this in console system or doubt dot print ln and in this we just need to display so here we are now we have to uh, see display this message whenever this condition is satisfied in that case so let's move to the login page here we are again and before writing uh, that we have to write here first in the uh, hrdf sign up dot jsp page okay and for forget password we already created uh, a page so we are go also going to connect that page for that forgot password dot jsp page okay after this we have to here we have to write the if else condition okay uh okay first we have to write for this okay and here we have to uh, take the variable string and message equals to request dot get parameter name and here we have message which we passed from previous uh, from login dot action page and here we have to write not exist okay dot equals and in uh, this we have to write message and uh, after this we have to display this and in between we after that we will close this okay you can see either get all automatically get removed after this we have to again write a code okay and again if condition if invalid valid dot equals equals an msg in that case okay we have to display this message so here we are bracket okay you can see either get removed so this is all about uh, our login part we done our coding now check out it's working or not let's refresh this page you can see the error automatically get removed or, or message get removed let's try with uh, admin first admin at the rate gmail dot com and here i'm just writing the password admin okay let's see password and click on login okay i think we did not connected this page with this one i think let's check it out here you can see that we did not write here login action dot gsp page so that uh, the response was not getting uh, to that page okay so again we are writing admin at the rate gmail.com and here i'm just writing admin let me show you and let's click on login here you can see the url we are going to the admin and admin home.jsp page let's get back here and here change to uh, gaurav and the password was 123 in the last video i registered with this e uh, email address and password let's go for the login and in this time we are moving to the home page here you can see home.jsp page okay it's showing some data uh, we will fix that in the upcoming videos so we will move to the different pages according to a username and password now let's uh, enter some incorrect details here okay and let's try to log in incorrect username and password we are getting message here so this is all about our login part of my online shopping project. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.